All right, well, greetings, YouTubers. It's been been several months since my last video. Been pretty uh, pretty occupied with things uh, as of late. I uh, can see that uh, all the big engines are put away for the winter. There's the Mogul down there and the Bessemer. You can tell. The Witty and the Hercules are all covered up. So, working on some winter projects now. Along with a couple other things that are keeping me pretty busy. Work being one of them. And uh, looking for a house and things like that. So, really uh, didn't don't have much time for videos, but figured I should make one. Of uh, something I'm working on here. This is a, uh, well this is exactly what I'm working on. This is the, uh, it's a Fairbanks light plant generator. 600 watts. So uh, they call it the one and a half home light plant. Now this isn't mine. This belongs to the uh, the former president of one of the clubs I belong to. Um, he's got the the whole generator set with the uh, sub base and the Fairbanks one and a half horse engine. It's a really nice display. Really nice setup. And uh, I think it's he told me it's been in his family since it was new, which is which is pretty interesting. He's He's in his late 70s now, but uh, been in his family since it was new. So the story is that uh, he decided to, you know, have it restored or rewound, or, you know, just get to have it. He wanted to get it running again. So what he did was he took this, the generator head to a fella to have it rewound. And when I say that, they mean uh, they wound new uh, field coils. It's a two-pole generator. It's a really simple generator. They rewound the armature. I don't think they touched the voltage cutout. They just cleaned it up. Um, and they rewound the uh, field resistor. Which, let me grab that. I'll show it to you. It's sitting over here somewhere. Uh, oh, there it is. Which... We'll get to that in a minute. And uh, they, I guess they put it all together and they didn't have any way to test it other than you know, just checking the resistance of the windings. And they gave it back to him. Now, it's kind of strange because I guess in order to rewind it, they just took resistance readings of what was, it, what was there. Because I guess what was there would have worked. There weren't any burnt wide windings or open circuits they just took resistance readings and duplicated it with the gate side the correct uh, gauge wire and you know the correct number of turns so but then it brings us to this field resistor here which would have been you know some kind of you know it's three taps and you can see there's high medium and low so high is no resistance obviously so it's, it's just straight field, and there's medium and low. So, I'm not sure what's going on here. They use just enamel wire, which, of course, there's, there's not many turns on here. It's only only one layer, because this is the core. I think it's ceramic. But uh, there's only maybe one layer, maybe two in some locations. Definitely, in this gauge wire, not enough to really make any significant resistance. And and, I, and I've checked throughout all the taps here, and, and it's it's only, you know, it, it's pretty much zero resistance with such a short run of wire. So really, the, the change switch here would do nothing. It would be on high all the time, and and probably too high. Well, maybe not. I don't really know. But um, and I'm not really sure what all was going on. I don't think they really knew what they were doing when they put it back together. But apparently. At one point, he did have it working, you know, generating some kind of output and running a few light bulbs. But um, I have here the original, or a scan of the original uh, wiring diagram, if anybody wants to freeze it and take a look at that. It's a pretty simple lineup, you know, it's a shame that there's a couple, uh, you know, it didn't come out, come out too well. There's a couple places where you can't see where, what the connections would have been, but it's pretty nice overall. So, and here's how I have it wired up right now. Just simple uh, with the uh, field, uh, shunt field. 
in parallel with the armature. They only use a series field for for uh, starting, because uh, a uh, starting switch you'd be able to uh, run that generator as an electric motor to start the engine. But anyway, so what he really wants is to be able to just light up some light bulbs with this thing at a show without having to drag the battery bank around, which would have come with this. Now, I'm not sure. It's funny that there's no, no mention in the paperwork I have, and not on the plate, what the, uh, out, what the output voltage of this would be. So, I'm just guessing it would be like a 32 volt, you know, home light plant type system. You know, with, uh, with a battery bank measuring up to about 32 volts. And, you, you know, you get a charging voltage out of here. A little bit higher than that, so. What I got is... Uh, two sets of light bulbs. They're 12 volt. Uh, they're in series, obviously, to you know for the output of this generator, so they don't uh, they don't pop. But uh, really, what he wanted was, like I said, he just wanted to be able to run some lights without having to drag a battery bank around. And I wasn't sure, look, just looking at the diagram, whether or not that it would be able to excite and produce any voltage without having the battery bank uh, bolt, uh, voltage to actually get it get it fired for the first time. I, I wasn't sure if it would hold any residual magnetism. Then I was pretty happy when I found that it did. Um, uh, without, um, with just spinning the engine up, you get about a, uh, uh, without having the field connected at all, at the outputs, which are uh, the armature, the brushes here, you get about three and a half volts, and that's without any um, field voltage applied at all. Just add the residual magnetism in the unit itself. So it's been about a week since I ran it last, and I wanted to do that just so that, uh, you know, I can kind of replicate how it's going to be used to the show. Um, that, you know, it's going to be used once and then put in a garage for a few months and then pulled out again. And I'm just curious if it will hold its magnetism over that amount of time. So I'm going to I'll plug it in, and i got a motor just spinning it right now. That's another thing I'm not sure about is the RPM that this would run at. Uh, I assume it's somewhere between, I don't know, maybe 1500 and 1800 RPM, but I have no idea. So if somebody, if somebody knows uh, what these ran at or what the generator head was supposed to turn at, you know, let me know and you know figure out how far off I am. Uh, right now, uh, without any load on it, it turns about 1550. Um, the motor is. 1725 or something like that and the ratio is not exactly one to one and there's a little bit of a load on it so now, speaking of which it's a nice motor that I got here it's a uh, it's a Packard made by General Motors which is pretty neat so uh, I've had that for a while it comes in handy for stuff like this but uh, well uh, anyway uh, I got some field resistance here uh, 200 ohm uh, rheostat which 200 ohms is way too much field resistance it only takes probably 10 ohms to actually uh, dip the field down significantly and uh, I have here metering for uh, field current and output voltage so let's uh, see if I can plug this in one handed we'll spin it up and uh, make sure it builds field voltage and then we'll turn some lights on Just a little bit of residual voltage there. The, the field is uh, off right now. Getting about uh, about four volts, just residual voltage. Got a little toggle switch there for the field. I have uh, two light bulbs on screws, so they won't uh, light when I put the field on. So we'll hit that. Shut it off, and you can see. Got, right now we're at about. Uh, 1.35 uh, amps through the field, and we're sitting at now 38, 39 volts. So, like I said, I'll adjust the field resistance a little bit, and you can see that it's very sensitive. Obviously follows that. Take it all the way down. Bring it all 
way up. So right now it's at uh, no field resistance. Which is actually a little too much for these light bulbs, but they'll be all right. So these old bases have uh, pretty dirty contacts on them, so <laughs> light bulbs tend to flicker a little bit. And with the load, actually we're pretty we're pretty safe, running about 35 volts. Oh uh, got the same current. Holds pretty well, so I'll shut it off with the load. We can see how it'll build back up. So I just open the field. And close it again. So I'm pretty pleased with that. That'll be enough for uh, for the owner, you know, just have some light bulbs lit up. And that's all people want to really want to see at a show. The engine making noise, something spinning, and uh, some light bulbs lit up. Change the field voltage a little bit. Very sensitive. See how little I'm turning this uh, Rio stat. And you probably even hear that motor change tune when I uh, take the load off of it. That's what I've been working on. Not a very big deal. Got a lot of unneeded wiring here. Obviously, we're not going to be charging any batteries, so we don't need the voltage cut out. You know, we, I may rewind that resistor so we can, uh, you know, it, it might be a little bit interesting to have it a show. Just, uh, you know, figure out what this resistance is here to give them some. Uh, a little bit of ability to change the output voltage, which might be interesting given given three settings low and then that would be open off. So two banks one and a half. I could probably uh, just set this meter up so that uh, it'll just show whatever uh, whatever current uh, you need it drawing. Like I said, uh, this meter is measuring uh, field current not uh, load current. So in the diagram, the diagram, the meter would be here in between the field and the armature and not here between the load and the output. And the, so. But that's what I've been working on and we've got the uh, Jacktown Winter Show coming up uh, next month. So uh, maybe I'll even uh, I'll put this back together and kind of tuck these wires in and bring it up and run it off the mogul or something. A little one horse mogul. Be a nice little display. I think the owner is going to be there, so he'll be happy to see his generator working again. Thanks for watching.